Hi, I'm Mike Regan with Transact's two-minute warning for the week of February 2nd. This is an extremely important two-minute warning because in it, we talk about one of the biggest mistakes that shippers make when it comes to negotiating their rates and contracts with their carriers. Now, we have a ton of information in this one, so we've gone a little bit over, but we want to encourage you to stick with us all the way to the end because it'll be well worth your investment of time. A couple of weeks ago in our two-minute warning, we talked about what's going on with respect to carrier rate increases and the drop in fuel surcharges. Now, I got some interesting feedback, one of which was from a director of transportation for a big company, and he sent me a note and he said, Mike, whose side are you on? You're talking about these carriers coming in for rate increases and justifying it by the fact that fuel surcharges have gone down. He was confused. Now, let me clarify some really key points you need to keep in mind. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be leading some very important panel discussions at various industry conferences. So whether it's at the Food Shippers Conference or the Stiffel Conference, I'm going to be talking with carriers and shippers. And in preparation for these panel discussions, we've had numerous conversations to talk about the rate environment. Now here is where shippers make a big mistake. When they go and take a look at the rate negotiations, they compartmentalize various aspects of these negotiations. So they want to take a look at their rate increases, they want to take a look at their fuel surcharges, and they want to take a look at their accessorial charges. So what the carriers are looking at though isn't just the rate structure, the fuel surcharges, or the accessorials. They're taking a look at the total revenue that they're generating with that book of business. Now I bring this up because a couple of years ago we issued a white paper that gives you some step-by-step -step tips on how you can negotiate great rates. And one of the things we encourage you to do was to take a look at the operating ratio worksheet that the carriers use to determine the overall profitability of your business. Now, if your revenues are greater than the expenses on that, that'll generate an operating ratio below 100. If your expenses exceed the revenue, it's going to be over 100. Now, here's what's going on. The carriers have been using fuel surcharges as a profitability mechanism for the last couple of years. In the Wolf Research article that we read a couple of days ago, it highlighted the fact that the carriers have more coming in than they were spending for fuel. So as the fuel surcharges have declined, since the carriers are looking at this in total, not as a compartment of a bucket, they are adjusting their rates to get an overall profitability mixture that they can live with. Now, when we're at the Food Shippers Conference, we're going to have people like Derek Leathers talking about some very important points. But what you need to know is that when the carriers take a look at the total revenue and the total expenses, they have a very simple system that they use to determine who gets their trucks. I call it the green light, yellow light, red light. And if you don't understand this when you're negotiating rates with your carriers, you're going to make a very big and costly mistake. Now, this doesn't have to be your reality. We've negotiated over $9 billion worth of rate contracts over the year, and we have a wealth of information as well as some great tools that can help you negotiate effective rates. And all you need to do to learn more about this is to simply send us an email or give us a call. So to my buddy Doug up in Minnesota, we want to remind you, we're on your team and we're on every shipper's team and we're here to help and we are passionate about seeing all of our shipper friends be successful. Thanks for your time.